UFC 248 this Saturday, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, and the headliner is a good one at middleweight. The champ, the undefeated champ, Israel Adesanya against, I mean, one of the most dangerous dudes in the world, Yoel Romero, the ageless wonder that he is. Now, Dan Tom, I got to admit, I'm not uh, jealous of your job here, right? The style bender, he goes out there and is just crazy. He can do whatever he wants out there, right? Meanwhile, you got Yoel Romero, who could probably just stare at you for 14 and a half minutes, throw one punch, and end the fight with that. So, I mean, as you're breaking this down, like, what key elements are you looking at to try to figure out what is predictable and what I think is a very unpredictable kind of fight? Tough matchups to break down this week, that's for sure. As far as Izzy Romero goes, John, it's really kind of comes down to two points for me. Uh, one on the feet, obviously there's all this talk about city kickboxing, Eugene Behrman, and they're kind of their school of feints and striking on the feet. I think the feints in particular are going to be really useful for a guy like Romero. Like you said, John, he can close distance, explode, change his timing and tempo on the drop of a dime, but I think those feints from Adesanya are going to help kind of defuse those threats. Yeah, man, that is a dangerous guy. you got to be very, very careful. Do not stand in front of him. Of course, fortunately, Adesanya is somebody that can move very well. So, I don't know, are, are you tipping your hand there, Dan Tom, and you're saying what the key to success is when you – when you play this thing out, who does get the win? How does it happen? Perhaps I am tipping my hand, but I will say one more kind of point here, which is on the ground. A lot of people are pointing to Izzy's possible weakness. Well, he's he's an amazing striker. We got to take him to the ground. We got to see him against a good wrestler. And Yoel Romero is a world class wrestler. The problem, John, or the potential problem, I should say, is Romero doesn't go for those takedowns very much. When he does, he has brief stances of ground and pound, which are dangerous. But if he doesn't secure those or go for those, which again aren't often, I don't know how much you can bank on that. And if you look at City Kickboxing according to Brad Riddell they should be called City Wrestling it's really been showing with all their fighters from flyweight to middleweight their wrestling is really on point they're doing something right there John which makes it hard for me to pick against Adesanya here nice I think uh, it's it's a big moment for him for sure against a dangerous guy what do you think is, is he going to have to go five hard rounds the way that Robert Whitaker did or is he going to be able to get another impressive stoppage now I may be I may be jinxing uh, Adesanya here because actually even though Romero is known for the third round right Rio Romero and Brian Ortega own that third round more than anybody in the UFC. However, I think if he's hanging around by the third round, I think Izzy will have all his reads. I think Izzy gets it done in the third round. Fantastic. All right, should be a good one. USC 248. If you want to see the full homework, everything that Dan Tom did, go to MMA Junkie. Check out his full report there. Otherwise, keep it on MMA Junkie all week for coverage of USC 248.